Hello devs, welcome back to Dev Made Easy. Today we are going to explore a fun project that makes websites look amazing. It's called CSS Border Animation. Picture your website grabbing people's attention with awesome border animations. You can make your websites super cool with just a little bit of code. Let's see how it works. We are using CSS to create these neat effects. It's like giving your website a special makeover. We will show you step by step how to make your own animations. It's easy, I promise. Watch how the borders change when you move your mouse over them. It's like magic. These animations can make your website look more fun and interesting. So why not give it a try? Add some pizza to your website with CSS border animation and impress your visitors. All right, let's start really from scratch. Okay, let's create our index.html or backup and also our style.css, all right? Once those are done, let's go to the markup. Let's give a title. Let's say CSS board animation. Okay, that's the name of the project. We also need a link, connect our markup to our CSS, all right? And there is something else we need. We need to go to the font awesome here, CDN, and grab this link, okay? Because we need two icons. I'm gonna show you later on. Let's create a new link and pointing to the font awesome, okay? And now let's go to the body, I promise you. It's gonna be very, very, very simple, okay? The markup here is gonna be quite simple, okay? We're gonna have two cards. Let's call the first one animated card. It's gonna be a div. And inside this div, let's have a span with the class from the font awesome, okay? Let's say FA solid FA code. The first one. Let's just duplicate this. Let's call the second card, card two. And instead of code, let's say, here is gonna be a brand and code pen, okay? Let's see what we have so far using live server. And it looks like you have just two icons. And our markup is done. We are now in the realm of CSS where the magic happens, okay? And uh, let's have a CSS reset. But before we have the CSS reset, I'm gonna show you why we needed this CSS reset. So let's have a bother show you that different browsers like Safari, Chrome, Mozilla, they have different numbers. Take a look at this. This huge match here, we don't need that. So match is gonna be zero. Padding, let's get rid of it also. Box sizing, bottom box. And yeah, now we have our own numbers. It's much easier to work this way. Here in the body, we want to put all the content in the middle. In order to do that, let's use Flexbox, okay? So display flex, display content center along the main axis, along the cross axis, align items, center. The background here, we want a dark color, like this one, if I can type, yeah. So let's bring back our icons with the color white. And now we can see them, okay? Just for now. Next step, let's deal with the two cards at the same time. Okay, animated card one and two. Let's start here with the display is gonna be grid. We want to put everything in the center of the card. Okay, so place item is gonna be center for the icons. The position is gonna be relative because you're gonna have some something that are absolute weight like the pseudo class. Height 500 pixels, width is gonna be 350, okay? Let's change the color because right now we cannot differentiate what's the background and what's the car. So background, let's give a grayish color of two, two, two. Looks like we have just one card, so let's try to change that, okay? Okay, now you can see it. Let's have a gap in between them. So you see that we are talking about two cards, not one. 
let's first get rid of the color for now gap of 5 vw you can work with your own numbers of course there is a problem with the uh, cards here so let's have the body rates of 10 pixels make it a little bit round on each corners all right and the cursor is going to pointer and for the icons we want to give them a color a new color and a new size okay make them bigger so let's start with the color it's going to be rgba 254 three times and the transparency dot one okay as you can see they are very small so let's have font size 10 em okay let me give it a save and yeah much better right now okay now let's start have fun okay let's grab the first card and create a pseudo class to it remember that this one is gonna be absolute to its parent okay the animated card so the position is gonna be absolute the content is empty okay let's give a height of 500 pixels a width of 350 pixels and let's also pick a background color let's have this tomato it's a shade of red body radius let's say 15 pixels make the bodies a little bit round z index of minus one we don't want to see that now just when we hover over this let's also apply a transition okay so there is a time between when we hover over it and when the property happens animation let's call that animate for two seconds it's gonna be linear and also infinite okay now we should have a nice trick here let's copy this and apply a hover okay and we have a nice trick here let me show you all we're gonna do is make it 12 pixels bigger okay so let's copy the height and the width and let's add 12 to it so 512 pixels by 362 pixels let me show you what we have so far okay this is stage one we're gonna improve this one and after that let's apply some style to the second one all right it's gonna be very fun we said something about a animation but we don't have it so let's create it now so at keyframes let's say animate because this is the name of the animate at 50 percent of the animation we want to apply a filter to rotate the hue of the element by 350 degrees this means the color of the element will shift along the color spectrum creating an animation effect okay take a look at this very beautiful okay every time you hover over this we have this nice effect so now let's move to the second one the, the first one is done let's move to the second card okay as we did in the first card let's have a solar class okay for the second one so the class before and the position is going to be absolute to its parent as always and for the content is going to be apt okay and now let's create the ugly stuff here with 50 percent the height is going to be 180 percent let's give a color so you understand why i said a ugly thing the background let's give the grayish color and we have this ugly result let's give it a 45 degrees okay instead of being vertical like that transform rotate let's see 45 degrees and as you can see we need to fix that so let's use an overflow hidden this way we can see just what is inside our card so overflow hidden all right and the next step let's create animation to it let's make it spinning okay every time we hover over this so animate animate card to hover pseudo the pseudo class and here 
let's call that let's have animation let's call animate two because it's the second animation two seconds linear and also infinite and now let's create the animation itself at keyframes animate two okay don't forget we are gonna go from as you can figure out from rotate zero degrees to 36 degrees make the full rotation of it so transform rotate and we here let's say 36 degrees let's hover over this one and as you can see yeah it's beautiful it's gonna rotate but there is more thing to do we said that's gonna be a border okay and now let's create a solar class okay the after the position always absolute to its parent the content is gonna be empty and we're gonna have an inset of five I'm gonna show you soon what it's gonna do the background is let's pick this color here let's say the two 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 we just create a problem solve one and create another one it's working now yeah there is a problem here we need to make the corners a little bit round let me show you the inset what it does take a look at 25 pixels <laughs> that's not beautiful so let's go back to five pixels and as you can see with this two 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 we cannot see the icon but the radius here let's say eight pixels make it round at the corners we solve the problem now we have the the card but we cannot see this icon so we have to solve it soon okay let's do it next let's go back here to the up here to the spam and let's apply a bigger z index in this case five and yeah now it's back and you can see both of them if you like this video don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more fun tutorials see you next time